Hello everybody, this is Infinim here, and today we have the kid reveal from Echo, the fourth Bad Batch member that is coming along. We have synergy with Rex here, but let's see what he has. Provides high sustain for his Bad Batch allies, controls enemy by dispelling buffs, that's one mechanic the team really needed. Helps his Bad Batch allies deny banners in Grand Arena. Okay. So, in White Grand Arena specifically. Okay, let's see. So, Bad Batch support, Clone Trooper, Galactic Republic. Loyal Clone Trooper supports his allies in battle. Basic. Deal physical damage to target enemy. Grants defense up and evasion up for two turns to the weakest clone trooper ally who doesn't have them. Ooh, this is sick because now you have a defense up generator that doesn't have only um, Wrecker coming in with it. You have now the, the that from, uh, from Echo. The defense up synergizes well with Hunter's lead. That gives AoE damage. One step ahead. Inflicts buff immunity on target enemy for two turns. Inflict expose all enemies for two turns. Dispel all debuffs on target other clone trooper ally and call them to assist. If that ally was bad batch, this buff immunity can't be dispelled. And echo increases the target's enemy cooldowns by one. Excludes galactic legends. Eh, it's still pretty good. Like Darth, Re uh, Darth Revan, or sorry, JKR can increase cooldowns with the mark, for example. This does, this resembles completely a JKR mark without the part where it actually puts the mark. It puts an undispellable buff immunity and increases the target's enemy's cooldowns unless you're trying some wanky, uh, wacky rather, GL counters, which is not the, the thing that this team is designed for, apparently. Second special. Whoa! Show me that animation again. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Clone Trooper allies gain evasion up for two turns. Dispel all buffs on all enemies. Really cool. Inflict Daze and Heal Immunity for two turns. Okay, for each buff dispelled, Clone Trooper allies gain 10% offense until the end of their next turn, and Bad Batch allies gain 5% turn meter. This attack can't be evaded or resisted. So, I'm guessing you can use either of these abilities to start the, the, the battle with. Like, it seems like he has some versatility in regards to who starts with what. And unique, whenever Clone Trooper ally gains or loses a buff from a Bad Batch ally's abilities, they recover health. Double for- wow, that's so good. That's so good for sustain. Whenever a bad batch shall inflict a debuff on an enemy, an they lose 8% protection? If that enemy had less than 50% protection and more than 50% health, they also lose... What? Wow! By loses it like, are they losing max protection and max health? Or is it like doing damage equal to 8% protection and then 8% health? Damn! That's great! Plus the survivability, plus the defense up that's- wow, okay, damn, this kid is super strong, I like it. Low cooldowns as well, which, we, again, this whole team has incredibly low cooldowns, and tech will be reducing them even more. I think this kid is really good. I really like that, like, it, it has all of the key parts, key components of the other, um, of the other Bad Batch. I'm just trying to see how we can an analyze this kid and see how good this is. Target enemies cooldowns. By the way, it's it doesn't say excludes raid bosses. So say, could you target the Reek with this and increase the, the AoE's cooldowns so he doesn't do the AoE for another turn? Or can you even get into a loop where you just don't allow him to do any AoE's after he does this first? There's some weird shenanigans here. If it if it's not prevented by raid bosses, unless he has something on his own unique, which could be a thing. <laughs> a distant echo few, you were right. We actually, didn't we have the distant echo video as well that we talked about on a, on a very short speculation video. We do have that, it was like a two minute video. I'm gonna put that thing at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching, but uh, I, I'm, I'm super hyped. I think this event comes out very soon, probably today still. Uh, with the release of the new Echo, I think he's super strong. I think this adds a lot of glue to what Wrecker, Tech, and Hunter already provided. So, see you all soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked it, please subscribe. I mean, I'm making some more videos nowadays than before. So, you know, if you like this stuff, please feel free to sub around, comment. Let me know what you wanted me to do as well. I love ideas. So, see you all soon. Thank you guys so much for watching.